So we've located the type of device that's not showing up correctly in the device manager. Now we need to locate the drivers. Hi, my name is Evan. I'm from the Micro Center Tech Support Department. Today on the part two of our unknown device troubleshooting series, we'll look into how to locate and install the drivers for the unknown device in Windows 7. Okay, so in the first video we took a look at the hardware IDs and we located the manufacturer and the model for the device that we're looking to install. Once we have the manufacturer's information, we'll go ahead and do a search to see if we can find their website. In this case, we'll just go to google.com, and we know it is an ATI or AMD card. Uh, that's a company in this case that has recently merged, and that's why they show in two different sections there. In this case, I happen to know that the, the company is actually called AMD, or Advanced Micro Devices. If I also did a search for ATI, it would come up as well. You can see ATI, there's a ATI driver downloads, but it is actually on the AMD website. So in this case, we'll just go to, we'll do a search for AMD, and that will bring us to the AMD website. And this example is specific for the AMD cards. Most manufacturers will have a way of doing this on their website as well, so it's not going to be exactly the same. It's just to give you an idea of how you would go about finding and installing these drivers. So if you look on the AMD website, up here in the top right, you'll see support and drivers. We'll go ahead and click on that. This is going to bring up our new page here. There's a download drivers link on the right side. So if we're not sure what kind of device it is that we're looking for, with the AMD Radeon 4800, we can do a search there. So you can see it's a graphics family. It's a card. It's actually a graphics card or display card. So we'll go back here for the component category. We'll be able to choose desktop graphics since we are using a desktop computer. Then we'll go down, if you look on the second section, we know it is a Radeon HD series, since if we look back on our search page, there's ATI Radeon HD 4000 family and ATI Radeon HD 4800 series. So you can see it is listed under the Radeon HD series. The product model number, we're going to go for the Radeon HD 4X series, since that would be the series that begins with 4, and would be either 4200, 4300, or in this example, 4800. Uh, any number basically beginning with 4 there and then we'll choose our operating system. If you're not sure if it's 32-bit or 64-bit, you can check by going to the Start button, right-clicking on Computer, and then going to Properties. It shows up here under System Type. We can see we're in a 32-bit operating system. So we'll go ahead and choose Windows 7 32-bit, and then we'll choose View Results. On this next page, we have the Catalyst Software Suite, which includes the display driver and as well as the other drivers that are included with that system. So we'll just go ahead and hit Download there. When we're prompted to run or save the file, we can typically just go ahead and hit run unless otherwise instructed by the manufacturer. At this point in time, you'll just need to wait for it to download and then go ahead and install the application. Again, different programs are going to install in different ways. Just follow the instructions that appear on the screen there. It should be pretty easy to do. If you have any additional questions or need more information, go and visit our website at www.microcentertech.com. Thanks for joining us.